Mm-hmm. Hello, how are you going? Very well. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, James, it's a pleasure to see you. Mm-hmm. And uh, what's your name? Phil. Sorry? Phil. Phil? Yep. I'm the Phil. Guardian. From the Guardian. Yep. Um, trustees. Um, I'm Ben Mac- Ben here. I'm, I'm going to be your um, case manager. I don't know if you uh, know much about uh, case management. You've got a lot of people that uh, care for you, James. Um, they all do different things, um, and uh, your guardian he looks after. I know that you know some of the things because you he looks after some of the money like issues. You know? I don't like I don't like them, but taking my money. Yeah. Uh, mm. um, I I ha- I have no control. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's absolutely that's that's something that that I want to actually discuss with you. Uh, that I want to talk to you about. I, I have um, that some rules that I actually have to go go through with you before we actually start, and that is if you're going to hurt someone or you're going to hurt yourself, maybe even kill yourself, or it or the the court comes and says that they, they want my notes, I have to give them my notes. But if you whatever you say to us in here is private. I'm not allowed to say anything apart from if those things happen. Does that make sense? Yep. Okay. All right. Well, how about you um, talk a little bit about um, what your role is? Sure. Um, and, and how you've come to um, know James? Sure. So um, my role is, as guardian is the like big picture stuff. Overall, um, helping to manage mainly finances um, with his life. Um, we have disability services involved with his care. Um, we have a probation officer that's working with uh, James and me each week to talk about his legal situation and um, the problem that he's been with the police. Um, and he's got you to help um, bring it all together and make sure that we're that he's comfortable and to talk to you about things when he's got some issues. So. I think uh, things are going pretty well. Um, I know James is not crazy about us managing his money, um, but I think you know we're just trying to help. Okay. So James, you're in the middle of this. So how do you feel? You uh, you've just told me that you don't like him being no. in charge of your money. No. Do you not understand not. why um, why he's in charge of your money? Not really. No. You don't. Um, know? They said something that I. I was always running out of money and, and um, I was stealing food and, and things like that. But um, when you're hungry, you need to eat. Yeah. yeah. Well, the the people that um, I've I've had a chat with, I've had a chat with the people um, in in mental health. Um, do you remember seeing um, Cassie from the mental health team? Um, not really, no. Oh, okay. She was she was a, a nice lady, nice blonde lady with um, curly hair, I think. Oh. And she was, uh, you know, like a fairly similar situation to this in the, the Kingston area. Mm-hmm. And she yeah. talked to you about... Um, I just didn't remember her. Oh, name. okay. That's all right. That's Cassie. Um, she was saying that it, it's, it's hard for you to uh, express yourself. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, so... You, Sometimes when you're feeling, sometimes you don't, well, it's great that you were able to, to tell me how you felt about Troy, but sometimes you didn't, you don't express that very well. Does that make sense? Because no, I'm angry. You're angry. <laughs> yeah. They, they've taken my money away from me. Yes. That, um, I, I need that money for, for things. Yeah. Well, well, that's you know. I think it's really great that you were able to, to, to let me know how you're feeling, and and yeah, I, again, I understand your frustration, especially if you feel that you know, you, you're not being fed enough. That's something that's that is important, absolutely. Um, so I'm I'm here because I'm somewhere in between, um, Troy, and uh, Phil. Sorry, Phil. And uh, a lot of the other people, uh, the the disability support workers, I'm just trying to see that you get to boast here. Um, I'm here to find out what's important to you. 
um, and how we can best serve you. Um, I can't I can't promise you um, lots of things, but I can promise you that we can. My my intention is that we can work together so that we can actually work on some goals together. All right. So, um, Phil. Yeah. Um, I've had a chat to um, mental health, um, and I've had a chat to um, James's disability workers, yeah. um, and they feel that he's going on all right. Yeah. Uh, they, they they think that he's he's doing okay. Uh, um, he's wanting um, some extra money to do this, that, and the other. Sure. Um, basically, they they're feeling like he can be given a little bit more money but with more oversight. Sure. So, um, so but but I'd like to, to, to hear what you have because yeah. you've actually spoken to uh, mental health as well. Yeah. Um, and uh, you've spoken to the disability yeah. and support workers. So I'd love to hear your opinion. Sure, sure. So I just want to say, James, um, you made a point that um, we've taken your money. So it's not just me, it's the, you know, the guardianship. They've taken your money and you don't have control of I'd just like to say that it's still your money. We don't want your money, and we don't want to take your money from you. We just want to help you to manage your money properly. So, and help you um, what you call budget, or work out what your um, the things that you need. You know, we call it expenses, but the things that you need each week, so you don't run out of money uh, by the end of the week, um, and not have any money for food. So it's still your money, um, and we want to work with you um, and just. Um, in, in helping you, and like um, Ben said, is getting you, you know, we'd love you to be able to manage and look after all your own money eventually, um, but we just want to help you do that in the best way. So it's not, we're not taking it from you, we don't want your money, it's your money, you deserve it, and we want you to use your money. Um, but you know how you like spending lots of money on certain things, like you know, you like gambling, and that's fine, we're not saying. You're not allowed to gamble, you can still play the poker machines, but maybe, and we'll work out, you know, a good amount. You maybe, you know, if you could just spend $20 a week on poker machines rather than $100 at the beginning of the week. Um, those sort of things. That's, I just well, want to say, still it, your money. What about at night when I'll, I've got no money and I want to go and do something? I can't, yeah. I can't just go to the bank and, sure. and take money out. Yeah. I, I have to wait yeah. until the next day and then... Sure. I miss out on what I wanted to I, do. I agree. And so maybe we can let you, your um, disability worker, because your disability, do you see your disability workers there each night? Is that right? Just make sure you've got a meal and make sure you've got your medication. Well, maybe we can organise with your disability worker that you've got some pocket money each, each day. Work out a good amount of pocket money that you might have. And then the disability worker has your pocket money and they can give you pocket money each night so you can go for a walk. What if they ask me what it's for? Well, that's not really their business, you know. They, they it's still you're you're 20 years old. You're a grown up, as far as we're concerned. You're an adult. Um, if you want to spend your money um, in a certain way, that's fine. But maybe not a great idea for you to have like $100 or $200 in one go. Maybe $20 a night or something like that. We can work it out. We'll sit down with you and work it out. And that's right. what Ben's here to do. To help work it out. Maybe. So you so you you're saying it, it, it could work? Could maybe. Yeah. We'll see. I don't know yet. So it seems like you you've got some uh, a lot of different emotions about that. Like, do you want to sort of um, write down how you feel? Like, sort of show me how you're feeling about that situation. Sounds good. So it's good. No, no. We may have a frustration. You're frustrated. Oh, okay, um, frustrated. Yep. Yeah. 
So a bit better? Okay. Okay. So you think, so frustrated is better than, so okay is better than frustrated though. Yeah. That's good. Well, that's good. That's what we've, we're looking to do. We, we want to get you from frustrated to okay and maybe to good. We want to get you to good. It's been like that for a long time. Well, that would be great. We love that. And that's what we're working on. So, your, so, so the other thing is, um, we, we don't want to restrict what you spend your money on. Um, but is it uh, possible for you to see, would you agree to see the mental health people again, Barbara again? Yeah. Yes? Yes. Yeah. So you have the, the disability people might have to take you to the appointment, um, but we need to have um, we need to have a talk to you about um, some of the behaviour that you have done um, is is affecting other people. Does that make sense? Sometimes what you do makes other people feel sad. Is there anything that you'd like to add to that? Is there anything that you can see that we might be able to to work on um, with? No, I think it's really good okay. because um, it's really good having you, Ben, as this case manager because um, you know I'm not used to working with people with a disability. Um, and I have trouble understanding um, James sometimes, and James probably has a bit of a, a trouble understanding me sometimes. So it's really good to have you. Um, so we just, um, just want to let you know that we've got your best interests at heart and um, we want to you know, work with you. I just feel sometimes that I have no control over my life. Okay. And when, when they take my money, yeah. I can't do anything. Okay. Sure. Yeah. I don't have options. Okay. So, well, what we can do is we can talk about um, have you, have, we can talk about making a contract. So you, do you know what a contract is? It's a piece of paper where I make an agreement and you make your agreement and we both stick to what we agreed on and then you get something out of it and I get something out of it. Does that make sense? You get something from me. Well, I'm working for you. So if you do something that I like, like, um, you know, spending, being careful with the money you have, if you do something that I like, like being careful with the money that you have, then I'll do something like that you like, maybe like giving you a little bit extra. Okay. I don't, I'm not in control of your finances. He is. Um, giving an example. So he let you know that's how it works. You, you get something, and somebody else gets something. Okay. Okay. So let's talk about what we'll start with. Um, sorry, Phil. We'll start with Phil. What do you want from James? Um, we would like him. We would like to feel confident that his money uh, is being managed. We, we, we don't want him to run out of money and feel like he's got to go down to the shops and steal uh, because that's not fair to anyone. He's going to you know, get in trouble. Um, he's going to get stressed. Um, so, you know, we, we would love um, for a budget to be worked out. Um, um, but we're not going to be there every day to do that. Um, so, you know, that's why it's great to have you and maybe his disability worker that might be able to do something like that. So we only see, you know, we only see James once a month, um, if that. Um, so, yeah. Okay. So you'd like to work on a money management plan? Yeah. And, um, and, and the disability can be worked, um, 
worker can be responsible for a bit more oversight about how that might work? Yeah, just a day to day. We could give, um, for instance, um, might be able to work out that uh, the disability service that is with James um, receive receive uh, or manage his money. It could be in a lock cabinet in his in the, in the house, and they give uh, the disability worker gives out you know twenty dollars a day or whatever that we sit down and work out that budget. Uh, that would be for pocket money. Uh, there's so much money will be allocated for um, social, like going out and having a drink or playing the pokies if he wants to. Um, so much money for food, so much money for rent, etc. Okay. I think that would be good. All right. So that's your your goal is 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 to deal with responsible money management. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do you have any other go knowing that you have um, a little bit more yeah. um, you know, oversight than just money? Is there yeah. other any things that you think that uh, James could work on? I think um, you know it, to make sure he makes his appointments. Um, he makes his uh, mental health appointments, his GP appointments, that his dentist's uh, appointments are up to date. Um, uh, there's appointments with his probation officer. If he needs any help with transportation, we can allocate some money out of the money that we hold for him to help organise for transport. So, um, yeah, that would be really good. Okay. Well, what do you think about what he said? What what um, Phil said uh, about attending appointments? Do you we if if that you were to have more control for your money, would you go to the appointments that that you've been asked to go yeah. to? Okay. Yeah. So what is there anything else that you want because? Just out, money is one realm of, of um, the the universe for you. Is there anything else that you want from life um, at the moment? Not to have the police at my door. Okay, <laughs> for sure. So, so um, that's a good that's goal. part of that. That is a good goal. Mm. A part of your um, part of your um, agreement with you with the actual justice. People, is that uh, that if you turn up and you and you you listen to them and you do the right thing, the police will actually, will actually leave you alone. That's I've had a discussion with them, and that's how uh, how it works. So how, um, how it works. Sorry. I was just going to say how can you talk to them? Um, and change. Well, I thought I had to go through court. Well, I'm, I'm a case manager, so there's a lot of people who are trying to help you, um, and I just talk to them, and I say, what's James been up to? And they say, oh, James has been good, for example, and then, then I say, oh, okay, well, that's good, and so we can, that's one thing that we can uh, go towards our goals of, you know, getting you in the right, going in the right direction. Socially, too, um, I talking to the disability services people, is there any, they, they were saying that you feel a bit lonely at home. Is that, is that true? Sometimes I have friends that come round that they seem to come round when I have money. Okay. So, um, when I don't have money, I'm on my own and I don't go anywhere. Okay. Um, that's, I, I appreciate you saying that. Um, I wanted to, to know what uh, you might think about that, Phil. Is there, is there some kind of thing that we can work on sure. socially? Sure. Yeah. Well, look, um, James has a bit of money put aside out of his payment, but also, you know, he's got a bit of money there. So um, if he needed to join a club, for instance, like a gemstone club or a car club or a sports club, um, that we could have some money there, we could pay for your membership for that. That's still your money, it's not our money, it's your money, but I think that would be a really good use of your money, and I would encourage that. I don't know what I like to do, though. You don't know? Okay. You could try a few different things, maybe, and then talk to, we'll talk to your disability worker and talk to Ben, and, um, and um, Ben might be able to talk to your, your carer, 
um, and um, try a few different things. And then when you make a decision, let us know. Or Ben will let us know. And then we can pay for your membership. I like dogs. Maybe a dog walking place. All right, that might be a start. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to I'm I'm going to actually work with you on some actual goals. So you know what goals are. Goals are when when you want to have something achieved, you want to do something, and you set a time to do it, and you do it. Mm -hmm. Like so, getting up for breakfast. Uh huh. Yeah. Getting up for breakfast. So you've got your goal is to eat whatever you have for breakfast at a certain time. I know that that, that in your home, uh, you know, you get up at six thirty. And what time do you usually finish your your food by? I don't eat breakfast. Oh, you don't. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but if you could set a time, what would you? What what time would you set? Um, by seven o'clock. Okay. Yep. So you finish breakfast at seven o'clock. That's your goal. So our goal here, based on what I, what I'm hearing from um, Phil, is that um, Phil's goal for you is to be uh, flexible with money management. I'm just writing this down for everybody. Um, and the action strategies are uh, basically your your. If he actually, if James keeps going to his appointments, then more money can be negotiated. Yeah, if it, yeah, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, that sounds okay. And what we'll do is we'll set a, set a date for this. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll, re we'll review this. We'll, we'll talk about it in a month, about how it went. Mm -hmm. So we'll put this as a month. And we'll put who's responsible, that would be Phil. And uh, you, you'd be responsible as well as James, because mm. he's in charge of that as well. Mm. So uh, the other thing is, um, so social activities. So you're in charge of that, James, aren't you? Yeah. Um, so the action strategy is, uh, if you continue to attend appointments, yeah, what what do you, what do you think is a good review time? Um, three months. Three months. Yep. Got to give James a chance to, to look around and look at different clubs and, and so on. Absolutely, and 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 you'd be responsible for helping that happen, and in conjunction with um, Clara from um, Disability. Yep. So you can keep in contact with them, I suppose. I suppose. Yes. Um, all right. So that's that's the, in three months' time. So what else do we have? Did we come up with anything else? I think that's the main thing. I think um, and the, the budget sitting down with this disability worker and um, yeah, and, and liaison with us and looking at it, uh, doing up a bit of a budget for the work. So do you, knowing what you know about money, do you reckon you could stay, you could have an appointment with them and talk about changing the way that things are happening with I her think money? So. Okay. We'll put that as one month and then we'll review it after a month. And we'll do that with Clara. Um, did you want to, you, yes, do you want to be part of that too? Um, I think maybe at the beginning, yes. Yes. We, we need to know. And have a big say about how much money we think needs to um, go into the budget each month. Okay. And, and then uh, we can pull back. Now, that that's actually good. I really appreciate that. Uh, I, I think that the, I think the um, last thing that we wanted to talk about is the actual appointments, James. Um, so what I'm asking from you is that you'll agree to go to the, um, the court appointments I know, they're not much fun for you, I guess. Um, the medical appointments. Um, and the... Um, yeah, the court appointments and the med medical appointments. And that way, and we'll assess that after a month. 
but I'll talk to Clara about that. Um, so you agree to, to do the appointments and keep going? Good, good. That way we can continue on and, and, and hopefully you'll get more control the way that you want to. You can get more of a chance to enjoy different things about life. And uh, yeah, I think that that might be a win situation for you. A good situation. Sounds good. Sounds good. What would you say? I hear, I hear, or one of those. Oh, nice. One of those. Yeah. Happy. Yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> that is cool. <laughs> wow, overjoyed. Yeah. I'm pleased with that. <laughs> so, what about you, Phil? Do you feel that that's a good plan? Yes, I think it's a very good plan. Well, just you know, I just want James to know that we're not trying to take his money away from him, that we uh, got his best interests at heart, and um, yeah. So thank you. Thank you for being thank here. You feel uh, sorry for giving you a hard time. No worries, no trouble at all. Very good, thank you. And we'll we'll be back in a month. I'll be right